I'm going to discuss something called Bolide uh, Movie Creator. Um, and I've got their website up here. So what it says is the first video editing software for non-techies, which is, uh, so what they're on their blurb, it says that it's for anybody and anybody can actually make top notch um, videos and that with their software. And the reason I'm doing this is I was looking for an, another program on a different computer, an old computer, and I came across this, which I, I totally forgot about. Um, I only paid about £10 on uh, Bits de Gere about a couple of years ago with this. And I, I'm a bit of a sucker for cheap software. So anyway, I, uh, I thought, well, I'll, I'll give this a run out and see how I go with it. Anyway, so this is basically what you um what you see when you've actually downloaded it and, and uh and uploaded it to your screen um the videos on mine um and the pictures are all they were all done by default so it goes where your video um folder and such like is uh by default i did that on mine i'm not sure if that, that would do it on anybody's anyway um here you have um something called the audio library which I don't, I don't have anything else in i'm actually going to when i've done this video i'm actually going to edit the um edit it with this particular software the transitions which have got loads of these things like a lot of video out, um, editors do have effects which has got things like negative um sharp and more which is you can make videos and uh these things are not really for me but but you can actually do fancy films uh, with these tools. So, um, base, also you can actually make um, slideshows. So it's a, it's it's like a slideshow and a video editor um, combined. So with um, this, it's pretty. It's it is. It's very easy to use. I mean, all you're doing is. Uh, he's if if you're very very new to it this is the timeline and all this down here um and there's a few uh editing bits and pieces that you need to do like text and if you wanted that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this film as a demonstration and this is um this one here what's well, actually on the screen but it's it's in the wrong folder so this here is uh, a one about that's from uh, Red Bull TV, which I'm an addict to. Um, these people jumping off with the uh, the fly suits and or bird suits or whatever they called. Anyway, so when you when you play that, so that's now in the timeline. So when you play that, you get this type of thing. Um, I just taped this off the telly, but I thought it was a really cool bit of video. Anyway, so what you want to do if you want to the, the bit at the beginning, which is the bit which is not very good because you're actually seeing the TV. So from about there is where you would need to cut it. So if you have um, this here, you this is the split, the fragment and current position, okay? So that's what you would do. So this is there. So then you would just pop that and then you would delete that part, okay? So now that's gone and you just put your video there. So now you kind of see the TV right from the beginning. So that bit's cut out. And this is the easiest video editing software I've used for this type of thing. So that's, that's all you do. And this for me, um, even though I've had this program for ages, haven't used it as much as I should have, but that is just, so easy to do and if you wanted it somewhere in the middle for example you could just go cut there and you want it to just drag it right to the center there oops just put that there split screen do do that bit there take it out and there you go and it's out you could put a transition in there if you wanted to um not that i'm want to but you could put a transition in there because the, because the screen's now split so there you go you just do that you didn't want that other bit in 
And again, like I've said on other videos uh, about this, where I usually take out the um, when I'm when I'm doing YouTube videos, I take out things from the beginning and th from the end, almost all the time. Um, and some sometimes you require bits here, there, and everywhere when you've made mistakes and all that. So if you wanted to put another video on top of there, I'm just doing this as a demonstration. It has absolutely nothing to do with uh, all these stunts and that people do. Just a minute. Just put that there. And there you go. So you can add add on, uh, take away as much as you like. So I'm actually quite quite impressed with this thing. Um, but it's uh, I should have used it probably more than I have. But anyway, I'm just going to redo that. Okay. Um, another things that you you can do is um, sometimes depending on what type of uh, shot you've got or what type of video you can take this out there you go and then you can drag another one in which this one here is uh, a time lapse i did of the stars um and what here is if i don't know if you can actually see it very well in this video but what you do here at the top it's got a bar at the side it's got a bar and at the bottom it's got a black bar um well i don't i don't uh like them things in so what you would do there is you would just um take out the uh zoom effect and so you would put that um as probably as close to the bar as you could without let's just still okay um and there that should be okay but I would also hear on the um, on the other side of the screen, on the left side of the screen, it has uh, what your frame rates are and things. 1280 by 960. If you're using YouTube, 1280 by 720 is the way to go, which is a 16 ratio to 9. Um, and again, this is uh, you would you would just put the um, the zoom in there. And drop that down a bit. That's actually you don't want that at all because just give us a second to get rid of that. Okay, so now it's now 1280 to 720, and you would still need that zoomed. Okay, this is a better one, better ratio for YouTubers. Um, and so you put up put it like that, and that's not causing any any problems at all. And that will come out on your, once you see this um, other bar thing on the top of the video, that means that it's taken, that means that that would now be zoomed in to the right thing. So when you've done your video, when you've saved your video, you would now get the 12, uh, 1280 by 720, and that's running at 30 frames per second. Um, like I said, it's... Um, this is, uh, you never know what people are looking for in these type of things. Uh, uh, everybody's different the way they use things. It's got things like adding text. Uh, now you see how that zoom is actually taking effect. You can uh, you can uh, add text. You can put in whatever you want there. You know, um, just uh, this is a test video, and I'm just clicking OK there. And again, this is. This is really, really, it is easy. I mean, what they say on the website, it is easy. It's definitely worth a look at if you're in the market for this type of thing. Um, other things that, uh, that that it has on is different speeds. Here you have speeds, so you have like times four and uh, uh, slow motion. I think it's slow motion. I don't use that much. You can freeze frame it. Uh, you can adjust the sound volumes. You can ro rotate it left, right. You can have transparencies, fadings. This fading thing um, is something that I will use, um, which is very important for some of the things I do. Um, so really, that's just an overview. If anybody's got any questions uh, regarding this software, I, it's not as big as uh, the brand's not as big as like some of them. It's I think it's a I think it's a Russian company who uh, do it. Um, Another thing, supply chroma key effect. I'm just going over these. Adjust brightness, saturation, and I've tried these. They're quite fun. Um, 
so yeah it's it is quite easy it's probably the easiest uh, video editing I've used um, and nothing in video editing is going to be absolutely as easy as pie but uh, once you get the hang of these things uh, I think this is probably the the most simple one I've used so anyway I hope you've, uh, hope you've enjoyed this video any questions as I say uh, thanks for watching and thanks for listening